Hello, friends! This Friday is coming out day. Thus, I have decided to make a video about my coming out experience. Now, I actually had quite a good coming out experience because my parents are very accepting, though I actually never felt the need to come out to anybody. I figured if I didn't want to date somebody, then it's really none of their business. I know that concept is kind of bizarre to some people because they feel like if they don't tell somebody something so large about their life, it makes it seem like you're being dishonest to somebody. Most people, I've never told that I'm gay. I think it's pretty obvious, but I don't need to tell them. It's not their business. Unless if they want to date me, Wink. Regardless, I did have several moments where I did come out, and those were fairly potent for me, and I think kind of hilarious overall. They weren't emotional, really, it was just kind of like a, oh, okay, tis time. I suppose that my first coming out story would be to myself. When I was 21, up until that point, I had not really had feelings for anybody, I was just kind of like, eh people exist, I don't want in their pants, so whatever. In that situation, I considered myself asexual. So when I finally did get a crush on somebody, that person just happened to be a guy. I realized that I had been hanging out with that guy a lot. It was actually the morning of my 21st birthday. I woke up, started making some toast. I was like, I really enjoy hanging out with this person. I think I might have a crush on them. I think I'm gay. Well, that explains a lot. That's when the toaster dinged. So whenever you have those epiphanies, I often refer to them as making toast realizations. After I figured it out, I was like, okay, whatever. I got on my live journal, because that was a thing back then. And I was like, hey, friends. So I just had this realization and no one was surprised, and I wasn't really surprised either. I mean, I was glad that I felt that way towards someone. That was kind of cool. So when I turned 21 was a large change in my life overall, because I also didn't drink before I turned 21. I was one of those kids. And now look at me. <laughs> the second coming out story that I have was when I came out to my mom. Again, I didn't really feel the need to tell her anything. Obvious that this is a big ol' no. I was invited to a family friend's birthday party, and she just happened to be a lesbian. Or bi. Something. I don't know. She was with a girl at the time. Doesn't matter, though. The fact is that I was in a gay bar with my mom. An opportunity like this never happens, so I should come out to my mom. So about halfway through the evening, I went up to her. I was like, so mom, I'm assuming that you've already assumed, but I just wanted you to know that I am in fact gay. And she had this look on her face. It was kind of like, and then she said, well, yeah. And then she proceeded to tell me, I've known you were gay since you were two, because you used to get your dad's large shirts and belt them and sachet around the house, so no big deal, no surprise. And then she tried to teach me about STDs for the next two hours. And through that, she told my dad, and then eventually my brother found out, and eh, no one was surprised. And it was not a big deal for anybody. Except I think my brother was a little hung up that I didn't tell him first. If you feel apprehension about coming out to somebody, just know that it's for you, for you to have in your own time. It might matter more to you to have that honesty with someone, but what you do in the bedroom is your business, not your mom's. So those are two of my coming out stories. I hope that you enjoyed this little video. If you have a fun or entertaining or potent coming out story, make a video response to this and let me know. Maybe we could chat about it sometime. I think it's also valid to say that there are a lot of things that you can come out about. Fetishes, kinks, any variety of things. It's difficult no matter how you come out. Like when I came out to my family, one of the reasons I didn't come out to them was because when are you gonna find that perfect opportunity. I mean, it fell in my lap, because I just happened to be at a gay bar with my mom. <laughs> but that opportunity doesn't often come along, and what are you gonna do? Be like, you're at dinner with your parents. Hey mom, could you pass the mashed potatoes? Oh, and I'm gay. And could you pass the salt? It's a little awkward. I also understand that there's a ton of fear behind coming out in any regard. For some people, it's just coming out as liking a different sports team than your family. That can ruin some shit, even though I don't know what sports are, so <laughs> there you go. I'll take this opportunity to wish you a happy coming out day if you do feel the need, desire, whatever, to come out to anybody. I wish you best of luck. Wink.